Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a full face of e.l.f. makeup. This is the second one in a series that I'm doing of full face of inexpensive makeup that you can pick up at the drugstore. My last one was the Dollar Tree um, full face of makeup, so I'll link that down below if you haven't watch that already. This video is not sponsored. I did pay for this with my own money. If you're new here or you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification that lets you know anytime I upload a video. And go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you like this video. And we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to use is this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer today. And I really like this primer. It's a uh, does have a good blurring on the uh, pores. You don't need a whole lot. Um, I do apply this with my fingers and I make sure and concentrate this in the T-zone. And it doesn't take a lot of this product. And I just mainly concentrate it right in the T-zone where I have the largest pores. And then I have a few acne scars um, that I like to fill in with this poreless putty primer. And I'm going to go ahead and put my hair back to get it out of my face. The next thing we're going to get into is this e.l.f. Uh, Flawless Finish Foundation. And this is oil free with a satin finish. And I have two colors, Shell and Buff. I uh, blend them together um, so that I can get the uh, correct shade for my skin. And I have this little e.l.f. Uh, mixing palette that you put on your hand. And so you don't have to uh, mix it on the back of your hand. So it's a lot more convenient. And I'm going to go ahead and do a full pump of the Buff foundation and then a half a pump of the shell and then I will mix those together with my elf blender here and then go ahead and start applying this if you see me looking down I do have my mirror right down here uh, about one and a half pumps is all that it'll take to cover your whole face and this does have a medium to buildable coverage so it is not a full coverage foundation but it is buildable so you can build up the foundation coverage and then the next thing I'm going to use, I have the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer and I also have the e.l.f. 16-Hour uh, Camo Concealer. Now I like using the 16-Hour Camo Concealer on spot concealing and I like to use the Flawless Concealer on my under eyes. I do have the 16-Hour um, Concealer in Light Beige and I have the Flawless Concealer in Fair Beige. So I do have the Flawless in a lighter color. I'm going to go ahead and start out with Spot Concealing with the darker color. I Spot Conceal with the darker color um, because you don't want to highlight imperfections. Um, so I try to get that as close to my foundation color as I can and go ahead and blend that in. And it just takes a small amount with this camel concealer. You don't want to use too much because if you use too much of the camel concealer, it can look a little bit cakey and it's dry. Um, drier than the flawless. I can't wait to try the um, hydrating 16-hour uh, camo concealer. I think I'll really like that. I'll go ahead and go in with the flawless concealer on the under eyes 
And again, it doesn't take a whole lot of this concealer. I just dot that under my eyes and then I'll blend that. to hide my under eye circles, which are pretty dark today. Okay, then I'm gonna go in and I have the e.l.f. Um, eye setting powder and I have this in sheer. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this into the lid and I'm gonna take my powder brush and dip it in here and go ahead and set my under eyes and this has a little bit of a sheen to it so it's not completely matte which makes it really good for setting the under eyes and then i like to set my whole face so I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. HD powder, and I have this also in sheer. And I'm going to pour a little bit of this. And it does have in the inside where you can turn it to open up the holes um, to get the powder out. And you can close it so it doesn't spill everywhere, which is really convenient. I really like that feature of this powder. And I'm going to pop some of it into the lid and I'm going to take my powder brush here and set the whole face. Now I don't do a heavy powder because you don't really want to heavily powder over mature skin because I don't want to highlight fine lines. But I do like to have a nice set on my foundation. Okay. Then the next thing that we're going to go in with Oh, we're going to do this jelly highlighter. And uh, I know I already powdered, but that's okay. This jelly highlighter does um, work even over um, powder. I just take a tiny bit on my highlighting brush and I'm just going to dip into the lid here with my highlighting brush and just add just a little bit. And this is a very brilliant liquid highlight here. And we're going to add a powder found, uh, highlight over the top of that, but go ahead and use that as a little bit of a base. And like I said, this jelly highlighter by e.l.f., um, and this is in bubbly, this does not take up your foundation. So it, it's better to put it under powder, but it's okay if you put it on top. It just gives you a really nice lip from within glow. The next thing we're going to go in with is our bronzer palette, and this is in Bronze Beauty. And this does have, this does have two shimmering bronzers and then two matte bronzers. And I'm going to go ahead and go in and mix the two matte bronzers and bronze up the face. And I really like this bronzer combination mixed together. And this bronzer is buildable. It doesn't come off with a really strong color. So you can go in pretty heavy with this bronzer and not have to worry about it being too harsh. And I just take my brush and this is a BH Cosmetics brush in 124. And I just pinch 
the end of my brush and I just go into my um, bronzer and I do the contour of my nose and a little bit under my chin and then blend that out so we don't have a harsh line there there we go and then the next thing that we're going to go into is the elf blush palette and this is in white and you have four different blush shades in here and I'm going to go into this peach blush here and mix it in with this bit of a um, pinky blush and I'm using the Believe um, blush brush for that and pop that on the apples of the cheeks and again this has a buildable coverage so you can go in really light or you can build it up to have it more intense it does have a shimmery blush topper here so I'm going to go ahead and do that little bit of a shimmery blush topper next just focusing it on the apples of the cheeks okay next we're going to go in with the powder highlighter and i have the elf illuminating palette and this is i have the elf illuminating palette and this is in 83329 and it has a more cream highlighter and it goes into more champagne and then a more golden um, this one is for fair skin and I'm going to take my Moda glow um, highlighting brush and I'm going to go into this um, gold highlighter here and put that over the top of the highlighter that we already put on to amp that up just a little bit and then up on the forehead a little bit and then down the nose and on the tip of the nose on Cupid's bow and down under the chin when I am done with that, I always take my powder brush, and this is the um, Real Techniques 201 powder brush, and I just go over my entire face with the powder brush just to blend and make sure we don't have any harsh lines in any of our blush, bronzer, or highlighter. okay then the next thing I'm gonna do is my brows I have the instant lift brow pencil and I have this in auburn because I do have red hair so I'll go ahead and go in with this of the instant brow lift it also makes doing your brows a little bit faster and it's not too waxy and it goes on really smooth and I think it looks really nice on I'm going to go ahead and this does have a spoolie on the other side I'm going to go in with the spoolie and tame those down okay and then next 
I'm going to go in with the Wow Brow, and this is in Taupe. The Wow Brow in Taupe. And this wand is a little bit big, so you do have to be a little bit careful, but it does have the fibers and the color, and I like going in with a little bit lighter of a color, um, like taupe, um, so that my eyebrows don't get too dark. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, then I'm going to put a little bit of the Flawless um, Concealer on my eyelids. And use that as a base for my eyeshadow. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do my eyeliner. I like to do my eyeliner before I do my eyeshadow uh, so that I don't mess up my eyeshadow while I'm doing my eyeliner. I have the No Budge Retractable Liner in black, and I'm just going to do the waterline and tight line on that. Okay, the next thing I have is this Need It Nudes palette. And this is the 10 Shadow palette in nude colors, and this is in cool tones. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Moda. A shade brush and I'm going to start out with this color for all over um, this nice uh, kind of cream uh, matte color here to set the concealer that I put all over my eyelid and I'm going to do that all over up to my brow And this doesn't really have a lot of fallout. Okay, then I'm going to go in with this shade right here and do my crease. Now this doesn't seem to have a lot of color payoff, but you can build it up and it will build. And I do go above my crease because I have hooded eyes. And go ahead and do the same to the other one. And if you work with these shadows, they do give you good color payoff. You just have to build them up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and take that color also under my eye. Okay. Then I'm just going to take my Moda. Um, crease brush here and I'm just going to use that with no product on it to blend. Okay, now that we got a good blend, I'm going to go back in with that with my shade brush. And I'm going to go in with this darker 
um, shimmer color here and I'm just going to put that on the outer corner just to deepen up that outer corner. Then I'm going to take my finger into this really pretty champagne color and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. Okay, I think that turned out really pretty. Now I'm going to take this really um, pale, um, almost cream color onto my detail, Moda Detail brush, and just this little bitty brush here. And I'm going to do the inner corner highlight. And then I'm also going to use that on my brow bone to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm going to go back in with that um, crease, Moda crease brush that has no product on it. And I'm just going to blend the edges out so we don't have any harsh edges. So we have a nice blend. I think that turned out quite pretty. Nice and neutral. Then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Volume and Define Mascara. And this is in black. And this is what the wand looks like. I'm going to apply this to the upper and lower lashes. And I like to blink into my mascara. And I'm going to add probably about three coats of this. Okay, that is three coats of that mascara, that Volume and Define mascara. Um, this is not my favorite mascara. I don't feel like it did much of anything um, at all. So I'll go ahead and give you a close-up of the eye look. I think other than the mascara, that the rest of that eye makeup and everything else that we used was really great, but I'm not a fan of that mascara. I wouldn't use that again. The next um, thing we're going to go in with is this lip lacquer, and this is in Mauve Glitz here. And these lip lacquers are just a nice gloss. I also have lip lacquer in Love Bite, and this one has some glitter in it, so I'm going to top that over the top of the other one. Okay, 
And that is our makeup. Done. The next thing we're going to do is set the face with the e.l.f. dewy setting mist. And that does have a really powerful sprayer on it, so be careful. Elf sponge in here and pat down this setting spray because it spurts out. I didn't want to make sure that we don't get any dots. So just go ahead and press the makeup in with the sponge. And I think this turned out really nice. And this is the final look. Go ahead and give you a close up. And the only thing that I really didn't like about this was the Define Volumizing and Defining Mascara. Other than that, I really liked all of these products that we used today. And uh, if you like this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And in case yeah. you're new or you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification that lets you know every time I upload a video. And until next time, bye.